Hi you all. It is wonderful, beautiful, amazing, blessing and privilege to see you all in this beautiful morning. First week of Jan 2022. Even in this season, I am releasing whatever the revelations that, that I received from God, from heaven for this new year 2022, especially in this month. This is one of Jacob's blessing. God bless with the dew of heaven and the fatness of earth. Dew speaks of favor of God. When Jesus came, the favor came upon men. Hallelujah! Enemy did war against the body of Christ. There are different, different realm of war. Even I was preparing for this New Year season to receive from God. This is what God revealed unto me. The different realm of war, different strategies of war that the enemy has been doing. Especially in my life, how he war against my time, my energy, health, wealth and different areas. Hallelujah! So enemy war against our time, even our revelation on the blood of Jesus Christ and the covenant of God and the blessing and the anointing that God released upon your mantle to minister unto his glory. In the coming days we will see more details about the war but God what is he doing in this season especially the supernatural divine authority that is released in a new mission, new realm from heaven for the body of Christ. God is making his children to be diligent, to be watchful, to look out sharp of what enemy is doing and also God is empowering, equipping his church with the new weapons of warfare, not the carnal one but the spiritually mighty one and also teaching against the enemy against this war, against this pattern and he is leading us into the new level of depending on him. Prayer life. God is raising the fallen Davidic hallelujah covenant of prayers and intercessions and the supplications in the churches in the body of Christ. Also, God is releasing new hunger and thirst for seeking him more, knowing him more, depending on him more. For more blessings, for more knowledge. Hallelujah. Today, I wanted to release a small portion of dream that I received from heaven for this New Year's season receiving. In the dream, there is a deal that was about to be closed successfully. Say for example, a purchase of property. Everything set ready and then the deal is about to be closed. I am the one shown to be the buyer in that dream. When the signatures and everything about to be closed, they checked my temperature and it was 99.3. And the attorney and the official said, we have to move the closing date three days later. What? A document closing deal, official procedure that was delayed for my temperature. I said I am not sick. I don't have any symptom. I am very healthy, active. Why are you delaying? There is no speech. Very controlling. They said, yeah, pack up everything. We cannot close the deal because her temperature is 99.3. Even before they delay this process, there are some audience before me. It is very illogical, but from spiritually speaking, it makes sense. All those audience are praying for Trump to come back to rule our nation. And a few church members, they are trying to come and participate in the deal. And they were so blocked. They were so hindered and they couldn't come. But even before keeping my signature in 
I am encouraging and preaching. Yeah, be encouraged. Raise up your hand and say hallelujah to God. And Trump is coming back. And they are giving applause and they are encouraged. But this man, this officials, they take my temperature 99.3 and they are postponing the result. What God is telling. There is a small delay that the enemy tries to bring with a controlling. Even you see the third variant and how it is spreading. How recently Biden administration almost ended. But Kamala rose up her head and then again it looks like going on. And looks like she is empowered. But God said it is very temporal. It is just three days. I am not sure in God's eyes what three days meant. But God said, I am reviving my church. I am pouring out a new passion and zeal and also the healing peace in the waiting time. And I am bringing my ordained king for our nation America. Hallelujah. When God said the peace, it is the covenant peace. Isaiah 54 10 says, Hallelujah. The mountains shall be removed. The hills can be moved. But my unchanging love, the covenant of peace, it never be moved. This is the covenant. God is bringing the covenant of peace upon our nation, upon those who are standing in the gap faithfully praying for our nation. Hallelujah. God is reviving his people again, strengthening his people again. Psalms 29, Psalmist says, God gives strength and peace to his people. Hallelujah. Whoever standing faithfully, God is adding new strength, new peace. Second Peter 1 2 says, God gives multiplied grace and multiplied peace for those who are seeking the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. John 14 27 says, My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives, give I unto you my peace. That's the gift of peace. It's the readily made peace. Jesus' peace. And he is giving unto his body. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Hallelujah. Even John 16 says. In this world you will have trouble. There are some shaking moments. But always remember. I overcame. I am going to impart to you. The transcending peace. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 33 says. Hallelujah. God give health. And also the abundant of peace. Hallelujah. God in this year, in this season, releasing the abundant of peace. Hallelujah. It's an abundance peace attached to healing. Hallelujah. Romans 5 1 says, God gives the justification, the reconcil reconciling peace. Colossians 3, the ruling peace. Colossians 1 20, God is reconciling everything with the blood of peace. The blood of cross speaks about the blood of peace. Hallelujah. This is what the word that I wanted to share with you for now Rema word. Even in the new year, when you look back, the hours, the days that you stood for this nation and you prayed, still you feel like things are lingering. It doesn't look like progressing. Take heart and believe. The closing deal, that was delayed just two for three days from the measure of God. It's just very quick moment. But God is bringing everything harvest accomplished. And also God is anointing you with a diligent anointing, sharp anointing to war against the enemy. To locate the war, to locate the pattern of the war. Is the war against your finance? Is the war against the knowledge of God? Is the war against the presence of God? The habitation or your Bible acquaintance or your health or your children or your ministry. And God is enabling you. The seven spirit of God is enabling you to locate, to address the war. Not only that, he is empowering you, training you to war against the enemy, to eradicate him. Hallelujah. This is the wisdom of the cross. The wisdom of the cross dismantle every demonic war and a demonic infestation. Lot of snake infestation. Those things are nullified 
they are going to be rendered useless nothing no effect on you no effect on our nation hallelujah and then god is making you to be receptive sensitive to ready and to receive the new things that are in place in store for you yes there is there are lot of visions and the glory and god spoke but now god is releasing new anointing new favor new war strategy new weapons new wisdom hallelujah new anointing prosperity release breakthrough and moreover the peace in the time of waiting gift of peace abundance of peace transcending peace the peace that heals you be anxious for nothing but in everything hallelujah with the prayers and the supplication let all your requests be known unto god the peace of god that surpasseth all the circumstances all the understanding will keep your heart will guide your heart this is the leading peace counseling peace hallelujah and he is giving the healing peace prince of peace may the prince of peace isaiah speaks about the hallelujah the son of god 96 hallelujah unto us a child is born unto us a son is given his name is mighty god wonderful counselor everlasting father prince of peace may the god of peace crush the satan underneath your feet shortly surely may you touch reach the tangible giftings and the mantle and the peace and the breakthrough and the favor and the riches and the supernatural release what god release upon you upon your family upon your children in this wonderful season ever increasingly for ever more amen